the drug evolution. A Mountaintop News Digging Deep investigation. We're finding the ramifications of illicit drug use in Eastern Kentucky is not so much about the problem as we've known it, but about the evolution of that epidemic overall. Mountaintop News will be investigating this and sharing with you what we know. For generation, substances, be that marijuana or the overprescribed, bought and sold array of pain pills, have continually wrought damage across our hometowns. Floyd County Commonwealth's attorney Brent Turner says in this new phase, addicts can hardly find a pain pill anywhere. When I first started prosecuting 25 years ago, in the late 90s, the main drug problem, the issue that we had here then was uh, pain pills, opioid pills, Oxycontin, uh, Percocet, Lorset, Lortab, those kinds of things, some nerve pills, but it was all pills. And... If you saw any methamphetamine back then, it was the, the kind of poor quality stuff that people would make on their own around here. It wasn't anything that ever got much traction. And it was that way for probably 20 years. See a penny? Pick it up and head to Appalachian Wireless and buy a new iPhone 13. One penny for an iPhone 13. Choose a two-year contract or the mix and match or unlimited plan. iPhone 13 for a penny. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. This evolution also has far-reaching effects for public safety, something that has not gone unnoticed by Tammy Riley, Pike County's public health director. There's uh, a high incidence of the spread of HIV and, and other communicable disease like uh, Hep C um, around people who inject drugs. And in Eastern Kentucky, we don't have as much testing of HIV and Hepatitis C as would really be needed uh, due to several reasons, one being stigma. Um, so what we see is concurrent uh, disease diagnosis. Floyd County Jailer Steve Little is doing his part lately with the hard line to shut down drug rings in his jail. Drugs come into jails and you don't always have the people or the technology to fight it. But anytime that I get any information whatsoever, evidence of anybody planning to bring drugs in my jail, drugs coming into my jail, I try to get to the source, I try to get to the bottom of what's going on. Over the last, I'd say, five years, uh, we have seen a, a, a rapid uh, transition to where we are now, which is probably 98% of everything that we see is methamphetamine. This is only the beginning of unraveling these changes and new kinds of devastation, but we'll continue to explore and do our best to navigate, to understand, and share whatever it is we discover along the way. For Mountaintop News, this is Digging Deep with Sheldon Lee Compton.